Hi, welcome to Simple Connect Technology Overview video series. It demonstrates how simple it is to connect Dell blades into your existing data center networks. My name is Sri Todari. I work for Dell as Technology Marketing Manager. Thanks for visiting my blog. It's all about blades in data center. After you're done seeing these videos, I would appreciate if you could leave me your comments and feedback. Thanks again for viewing. In this series of short videos, I will introduce you to Simple Connect technology and show you how it simplifies deployment of Dell M1000E blades into your existing LAN. In the first video, I will do a overview of this technology. Then I will explain how it automatically configures and enables blade server connectivity into your existing networks as you cable up. To get blade connectivity right away, it can be as simple as plug and cable up. Then second video talks about how seamlessly you could deploy blade servers into your existing virtual LANs within your data center. Then the third video talks about how to group blade servers with aggregator groups to support specific traffic flows and connectivity to meet your IT needs. In future, I'll be adding more videos to this series to cover remaining Simple Connect capabilities such as Stacken. Like I said, these Simple Connect LAN modules are built to simplify and automate common day-to-day -day deployment tasks, enabling you to easily connect and deploy Blade servers. After plugging these modules, you just have to connect cables to get immediate connectivity between Dell blades and your existing network infrastructure. It is as simple as plug and play. No need to configure. No need to mess with spanning tree protocol or any other layer 2 switch protocols. This way, you're simply avoiding management complexity and overhead that came along with integrating switches into blade chassis. Because of this simplicity, systems admins could own and deploy these modules with ease while deploying server systems for connectivity. It is a technology built to help systems admins to simply deploy blade servers while still implementing existing industry standard techniques like layer 2 forwarding or VLANs or link aggregation groups etc. Dell Blade M6220S, M6348S, M8024S LAN modules implement this technology. Also M series power connect switches support this technology and can be enabled to run in simple switch mode instead of normal switch mode. This graphic shows two simple connect LAN modules plugged into IO fabric slots of M1000E blade chassis with 16 blade servers which can be connected to two uplink switches in your existing network. As depicted by the animation, now connect the cable from simple connect module to uplink switch. As you can see, all blade traffic now flows through that uplink cable, which provides immediate connectivity into your existing network via that uplink switch. Simple Connect modules 
will detect cables as you plug in and they are configured with settings needed to automatically enable blade connectivity seamlessly. From the graphical user interface or command line interface of this module, you can see by default Simple Connect module has all internal ports connected to the blades grouped together in an aggregator group AG1. In addition, first eight external ports of the module which can be connected to existing uplink switches in your LAN are also part of aggregation group 1. By selecting port configuration summary tab in your GUI, you can see that all internal ports are member ports of aggregation group 1. External ports are enabled as active member ports of aggregation group 1 when cables are plugged in and as those links become live. To demonstrate, I just plugged a cable in. Now you can see Simple Connect just detected and added that specific external port as active member of aggregation group 1. Now consider that you want more uplinks connected to meet your bandwidth needs. Okay, let me show how it does it. Just add more cables for more bandwidth as depicted. A dynamic lag is formed automatically. You can see the traffic is being load balanced effortlessly across those two uplinks within the lag. Now check in from the port configuration summary tab from GUI. It shows that those uplinks are active members of aggregation group 1. By default those uplink ports are configured for industry standard LACP link aggregation control protocol that dynamically enables link aggregation group lag as you cable up. As those uplinks are bundled together providing higher bandwidth as desired it will also prevent loops automatically so no need for spanning tree protocol. All you have to make sure before connecting more cables is on the uplink switch those connected ports have LACP enabled. If not only the first uplink port connected will be enabled on the simple switch module so still providing continued blade connectivity but now through only the first port right once you enable LACP on rest of these connected ports on the uplink switch all ports will become active and negotiate lag now and load balance the blade traffic across As you need, you could add cables up to 8 uplinks to increase bandwidth and share traffic load. Those uplink ports will become active members of aggregation group 1 and dynamic lag. For redundancy, two lags can be set. One as primary the other as secondary, backing each other in failover scenario. As depicted here in this animation, you can configure such that it automatically enables secondary lag as active after disabling primary lag when number of active links in it fall below set threshold. Let me show you how easy it is to do it. From the global configuration menu in the GUI, enable lag failover admin mode. Then select minimum active members in a active lag to keep it 
active. If number of active links fall below this threshold setting, Simple Connect will automatically enable failover to secondary lag. It also lets you enable SNMP trap to monitor the failover. You can configure secondary lag using remaining available uplink ports that are not used in primary lag. Once you configure that, apply changes. In case you want to use 10 gigabit uplink ports instead of 1 gigabit, then first delete all the 1 gigabit uplink ports from that aggregation group. Then add 10 gigabit uplink ports and configure lag roles, primary and secondary. Remember that you could use either 1 gigabit or 10 gigabit ports, but not mixed together in a lag. This is an industry standard limitation. For network redundancy, you can configure same on the redundant simple connect module in the blade chassis as shown here. This setup will work great with server NIC teaming and failover features. So if primary NIC fails, secondary picks up the traffic as depicted here. Thank you for going through the first video.